Have you ever wondered about the man behind the legendary military strategies of World War II, George S. Patton? Born George Smith Patton Jr., he was a prominent general in the United States Army, known for his leadership during the most tumultuous of times. His military career began during the Mexican Border War and World War I, where he commanded the U.S. Tank Corps. But it was in World War II where Patton truly made his mark. He led the Seventh Army in the Mediterranean Theater and the Third Army in France and Germany. His aggressive tactics and inspiring leadership style were both praised and criticized, painting a complex picture of a man who was larger than life. Patton played a significant role in the development of armored warfare doctrine, forever changing the face of modern warfare. Sadly, he died in 1945 following a car accident. His legacy is marked by his colorful personality, controversial statements, and successful military strategies. Join us as we delve into the life of this iconic military figure. Born into a family with an extensive military background, George Smith Patton Jr. was destined for a life on the battlefield. The seeds of this destiny were sown on November 11, 1885 in the sunny state of California, where Patton was born. His lineage was steeped in military glory, tracing back to the American Revolution and the Civil War, with both his grandfather and great-uncle being Confederate officers. This rich heritage ignited a flame within young Patton, a flame that burned with the desire to continue his family's legacy. Education for Patton wasn't confined to the traditional classroom. His early years were marked by rigorous homeschooling under the watchful eyes of his father and aunt, who instilled in him a love for history, poetry, and the classics. This foundation would later prove instrumental in shaping Patton's strategic acumen and his flair for dramatic speeches. But the call to arms couldn't be ignored. Following in the footsteps of his forefathers, Patton attended the Virginia Military Institute. His time at VMI was a crucible, shaping the raw ore of his potential into the steel of a future leader. Yet the journey was far from over. Patton's thirst for knowledge and his drive to excel propelled him to the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. West Point was a forge, and Patton emerged from it not just as a soldier but as a leader, a tactician, and a visionary. These formative years laid the groundwork for Patton's illustrious military career. From the young boy fascinated by tales of heroism and valor, to the man who would become one of the most celebrated generals of World War II, Patton's early life was a testament to the power of determination, education, and heritage. His story serves as a reminder that the path to greatness often begins long before one steps onto the battlefield. Patton's military career took off amidst the turbulence of the early 20th century. A young George S. Patton found himself in the thick of the Mexican Border War, a conflict that erupted in the early 1900s. This was Patton's first taste of military action, and it was here that he began to demonstrate his exceptional leadership skills. But it was World War I that truly defined Patton's early military career. As the world plunged into the chaos of the Great War, Patton found himself in a unique position. He was given command of the U.S. Tank Corps, a newly formed unit that was, at the time, a revolutionary concept. The idea of a mechanized military force was still in its infancy, and Patton was one of its early proponents. His leadership of the Tank Corps was marked by his aggressive tactics and bold strategies. Patton believed in the power of speed and maneuverability, and he used these principles to great effect on the battlefield. He was a natural fit for the fast-paced, high-stakes world of armored warfare, and his successes in this role helped to cement his reputation as a pioneering military leader. Patton was not just a leader of men but also an innovator of tactics. He saw the potential in armored warfare long before many of his peers, and he was instrumental in developing the doctrine that would guide its use in the decades to come. But Patton's early military career was not without its challenges. The Great War was a brutal and unforgiving conflict, and Patton faced his fair share of hardships. He was wounded in action on more than one occasion, and he was frequently at odds with his superiors over his unconventional tactics and outspoken demeanor. Yet despite these obstacles, Patton's early military career was a time of great growth and learning. He honed his leadership skills, developed his signature aggressive tactics, and helped to usher in a new era of warfare. These experiences in the Mexican Border War and the Great War were instrumental in shaping Patton into the formidable military leader he would become. They laid the groundwork for his future successes and they played a significant role in defining his legacy. These experiences shaped Patton into a formidable military leader. With the onset of World War II, Patton's strategic genius came to the fore. 
As the world was plunged into the second global conflict of the century, George S. Patton found himself leading the Seventh Army in the Mediterranean theater. His task was a daunting one, to spearhead the invasions of Sicily and Italy. These operations would test Patton's leadership, his tactical prowess, and his ability to adapt to the changing dynamics of warfare. In this theater of war, Patton's philosophy of aggressive, fast-paced combat shone brightly. His approach was to push forward, to keep the enemy reeling, and never to let them regain a foothold. It was a high-risk strategy, but Patton believed in the audacity of action and the power of momentum. The invasion of Sicily, codenamed Operation Husky, was the first major test of Patton's leadership in the Mediterranean. As part of a larger Allied strategy to knock Italy out of the war, the operation aimed to secure a crucial foothold in the Mediterranean. Patton's 7th Army, alongside the British 8th Army, was entrusted with this task. Patton's aggressive tactics paid off. The 7th Army moved swiftly, capturing the western half of the island in less than two weeks. Patton's men then pushed east, engaging in fierce battles with the Axis forces. The campaign was hard fought, but Patton's leadership and the tenacity of his men ensured victory. Sicily fell to the Allies, a significant blow to the Axis powers, and a major step towards victory in the Mediterranean. Yet Patton's Mediterranean campaign was far from over. With Sicily secured, the next target was Italy itself. The Italian campaign was a grueling one, marked by tough terrain, stubborn resistance, and harsh weather. Patton, however, was undeterred. His 7th Army pushed relentlessly, driving deep into enemy territory. The Italian campaign was a testament to Patton's strategic acumen and his ability to inspire his troops. His leadership was instrumental in the eventual Allied victory in Italy, which marked a turning point in the war. Italy's surrender weakened the Axis powers significantly and opened up a new front against Nazi Germany. Throughout the Mediterranean campaign, Patton's leadership was marked by audacity and innovation. His aggressive tactics, while controversial, proved effective in the face of formidable opposition. His ability to inspire his troops, to instill in them the will to fight and the belief in victory, was a key factor in the success of the 7th Army. Yet, the Mediterranean theater was just one chapter in Patton's illustrious military career. His exploits in Sicily and Italy were impressive, but they were also a prelude to his even more audacious campaigns in France and Germany. Patton's aggressive tactics here were just a precursor to his exploits in France and Germany. His strategic genius, his audacious leadership, and his unwavering belief in victory would continue to shape the course of the war, earning him a place among the greatest military leaders of the 20th century. In the latter stages of World War II, Patton's Third Army swept across France and Germany. The year was 1944, and the winds of war were shifting. Patton, now commanding the Third Army, was poised for a campaign that would etch his name in the annals of military history. The stage was set for the battles of Normandy, the Ardennes, and the Rhineland. Normandy, a region in northern France, was the site of the largest seaborne invasion in history. The Allies landed there in June of 1944, and Patton's Third Army was tasked with exploiting the breakout from the beachhead. With his trademark aggressiveness, Patton pushed his forces forward, covering vast distances in a remarkably short time. His pace was relentless, his tactics bold, and his leadership inspiring. The Third Army was a force to be reckoned with, and it left a trail of liberated towns and defeated German forces in its wake. But the campaign in France was not without its challenges. The Ardennes, a heavily forested region, was the site of the Battle of the Bulge, one of the war's most significant conflicts. In December of 1944, the German forces launched a surprise offensive, aiming to split the Allied lines and capture key ports. The battle was fierce, the weather harsh, but Patton, ever the strategist, managed to swiftly reorient his forces and launch a counterattack. His quick thinking and decisive action proved instrumental in turning the tide of the battle and ultimately, the war. The final act of Patton's European theater was the Rhineland Campaign. His Third Army pushed into Germany, crossing the Rhine River in a daring nighttime operation. Patton's forces advanced deeper into enemy territory, capturing hundreds of towns and cities. His audacious and relentless pursuit of victory was a testament to his military genius. Throughout these campaigns, Patton's leadership style was both aggressive and inspiring. His soldiers admired him, they respected him. They followed him into battle, not out of fear, but out of a deep-seated belief in their general. Patton led from the front, sharing the hardships of his men and instilling in them a fierce determination to succeed. 
his colorful personality, his fiery speeches, his refusal to accept anything less than total victory. These were the hallmarks of Patton's command. But Patton was not just a warrior. He was a scholar of war, a student of history who understood the lessons of the past and applied them to the present. He was a master of maneuver warfare, using speed, surprise, and superior decision-making to defeat his enemies. His tactics were unconventional, his strategies bold, but they were effective. Patton's Third Army was one of the most successful fighting forces of World War II. Patton's military prowess was instrumental in the Allies' victory in Europe. His command of the Third Army, his leadership during the battles of Normandy, the Ardennes, and the Rhineland were testament to his abilities as a military leader. His aggressive tactics, his inspiring leadership style, his unwavering determination, these were the qualities that made Patton a military legend. And they were the qualities that helped bring about an end to the war in Europe. Despite his military successes, Patton was a controversial figure. His dynamic, larger-than-life persona was as much a source of criticism as it was of admiration. One of the most contentious aspects of Patton's character was his temper. He was known for his fiery outbursts and impulsive behavior which often landed him in hot water. For instance, during the Sicily campaign in World War II, Patton slapped two soldiers suffering from combat fatigue, accusing them of cowardice. This incident, known as the slapping incident, sparked a media firestorm and caused a significant dent in Patton's reputation. It led to him being sidelined for nearly a year by his superiors, who were unsure of how to handle his unpredictable behavior. Patton's outspokenness was another source of controversy. He was never one to mince his words, often expressing his views without considering the potential backlash. His candidness, while sometimes refreshing, also led to several diplomatic incidents. Notably, his post-war comments about the Soviet Union and his desire to rearm Germany to fight against it were met with shock and disapproval, causing further strain on his relationship with his superiors. His treatment of soldiers was a contentious issue as well. While Patton was revered by many of his men for his leadership and strategic brilliance, others found his methods harsh and his expectations unrealistic. His belief in discipline and his demand for absolute obedience led to accusations of him being a martinet. However, it's important to note that his aggressive tactics and relentless push for victory were instrumental in turning the tide of the war. Patton's controversial actions and statements elicited mixed reactions from his peers and superiors. Some admired his audacity and saw his unorthodox methods as necessary for victory. Others, however, viewed him as a loose cannon whose reckless behavior could potentially jeopardize the war effort. Despite these controversies, Patton was not without his defenders. Many of his contemporaries recognized his military genius and acknowledged his pivotal role in the Allied victory. General Dwight D. Eisenhower, for instance, despite having to discipline Patton for his actions, acknowledged that he was one of the most brilliant commanders in American history. Yet these controversies could not overshadow Patton's contributions to the war effort. His aggressive tactics, inspiring leadership, and innovative strategies played a crucial role in the Allied victory in World War II. While Patton's legacy is marked by his controversial actions and statements, it is also defined by his military successes and his indomitable spirit. His story serves as a reminder that even the most brilliant individuals can be deeply complex and flawed. Patton's life came to an abrupt end in 1945, but his legacy lives on. His death was as sudden as it was unexpected, a twist of fate that no one saw coming. In December of that year, while still on active duty in Germany, Patton met with a car accident that would prove fatal. The incident, a collision with a military truck, left him paralyzed from the neck down. Despite the best efforts of his doctors, Patton's condition worsened and he passed away on December 21, 1945, a mere 12 days after the accident. Yet even as we speak of his untimely death, it's impossible not to recognize the indelible mark he left on the world and the United States military. Patton's influence on military strategies cannot be overstated. His aggressive tactics and innovative use of armored warfare set new standards and continue to be studied in military academies around the world. He was a man who believed in leading from the front and his inspiring leadership style has been emulated by many who came after him. But Patton's legacy extends beyond the realm of military strategy. His colorful personality and controversial statements made him a larger-than-life figure, one that has been immortalized in various forms of popular culture. His life and exploits have been the subject of numerous books, films, and television shows, the most famous of which is perhaps the 1970 biographical war film, Patton. 
where actor George C. Scott gave a riveting performance as the general, earning him an Academy Award. Patton's impact can also be felt in the development of the U.S. Army's armored forces. His contributions here were instrumental in shaping the armored warfare doctrine. He understood the potential of tanks in modern warfare and pushed for their use, a decision that would prove pivotal in many World War II battles. Yet for all his accomplishments and influence, Patton was not without his critics. His aggressive style and penchant for controversy often put him at odds with his peers and superiors. But whether you view him as a flawed hero or a maverick genius, there's no denying the significant role he played in shaping the course of World War II and the future of military strategy. In the end, Patton's story is one of passion, determination, and a relentless pursuit of victory. It's a story that continues to captivate and inspire. His strategic genius, coupled with his larger-than-life personality, ensures his place in history as one of the most influential and iconic figures of the 20th century. George S. Patton, a military genius, continues to inspire generations. His spirit, his drive, his unwavering belief in the potential of his men, all these live on, a testament to the enduring legacy of a man who, in life and in death, remains a symbol of determination, courage, and audacity. In his 60 years, George S. Patton left an indelible mark on military history. As we reflect on the life of this extraordinary man, it's clear to see the impact he made not just on the battlefield, but on the development of military doctrine itself. Patton was a visionary, a leader who recognized the potential of armored warfare long before it became a staple of modern militaries. His aggressive tactics and inspiring leadership style left a lasting legacy, shaping the United States Army and influencing military strategies around the world. From his early days commanding the U.S. Tank Corps in World War I, to his pivotal roles in the Mediterranean theater and in France and Germany during World War II, Patton proved time and again his mettle as a leader. His strategic prowess and relentless drive propelled his armies to victory, earning him a place among the most celebrated generals in American history. Yet, Patton was not without controversy. His outspoken nature and colorful personality often put him at odds with his contemporaries. He was criticized for his aggressive tactics and controversial statements, but these very qualities also earned him the admiration and respect of his troops. Patton was a man of contradictions, a complex figure who defied simple categorizations. Despite these controversies, or perhaps because of them, Patton remains a prominent figure in military history. His life and career serve as reminders of the complexities of leadership and the high stakes of warfare. They illustrate the human side of history, the personal struggles and triumphs that lie behind the grand narratives of nations and wars. Remembering historical figures like Patton is essential. It's not just about honoring their contributions or learning from their mistakes, it's about understanding our past, the people and events that shaped our world. It's about gaining insights into the human condition, the challenges we face, and the potential we have to overcome them. George S. Patton was a man of his time, but his influence extends far beyond the years he lived. His life and career embody the complexities and contradictions of history itself. They offer valuable lessons and insights, not just for military enthusiasts, but for anyone interested in understanding the world we live in. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of George S. Patton. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel History Facts for more videos like this.